world welcome back more fallout 4 with your boy dub and trey let's get into it let's get into it
Hey, and there's something you need? Hey.
You don't look like one of the rest devils. What are you doing here? Maybe I'm just a rust devil wearing a clever disguise. Please, don't insult my intelligence. Why don't you just tell me why you're here? And why we're even bothering to elevate our position? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% .8 chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. I'm listening. How refreshing. Then allow me to explain. Now. How can I put this as simple as possible, so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. While I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we made. Now that we have that out of the way, deal. Oh, well, do we have a deal? Decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. monstrosities. the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today, thank you. Worship you, Claude. Sweet. In 
intruder. Identify yourself. Oh. You really are taking the path of most resistance here, aren't you? Based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not optimal. An increase in efforts could have an impact on the odds. This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. Alert level elevated.
job, human. Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a... ...body that meets my standards. I just want to trade a few things. Of course. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo-brains are notorious for being... Well, a real pain in the neck. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough to track down the mechanist's location? I certainly hope so. 
I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. What else do you know about the Maven? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. I don't understand. Let me explain. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. You shouldn't think that way. Your personality helps you think creatively. I always considered my personality to be a burden, but I suppose I've been looking at it incorrectly. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Interesting. This body you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Sorry, Your Highness. The Royal Tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine, so... 
Why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know? And then I'll be on my way. Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming. A veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. I knew there was some good left inside that brain. What you call good? I call my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. I don't think you understand the definition of help. Help. To give or provide what is necessary to accomplish a task or to satisfy a need. I'm doing exactly as I was instructed. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. And you're going to be a brain pate if you don't tell me how to access the Mechanist's facility. There's no need to be rude. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the Mechanist's facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. Mama Murphy. What that jet we talked about, kid? You need to stop using chems. I'm serious. Bring this back up. I thought I told you. We need the site, and the site needs the chems. I told you no. You're going off this junk. Now, are you going to answer to me? Easy there, kid. You win. Old Mama Murphy will get clean. Just put away the scary eyes. Let's trade some things.
Muffy's as good as her word, kid. No more cows. with Jezebel. I hope she wasn't too difficult. I got what we needed. Good. What did she say we need to access the mechanist facility? I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco Sales and Service Center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I too am curious as to what the Mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. Would you allow me to assist you on this mission? No. Stay here. I understand. I wouldn't want my own personal investment to cause any complications. Actually, I'll be back later. Very well, sir. My databanks are continuing to accumulate vast amounts of data regarding the Commonwealth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more Fallout 4. Dab and Trey.